And new at 10 tonight, it's been nearly two years since Tampa's Jackie Faircloth was seriously injured when she was hit by a truck in Tallahassee. And tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from her father. It comes just one day after the man responsible for Jackie's injuries is sentenced to prison. Fox 13's Josh Cassio is in our control room tonight. Josh, certainly still very tough for the family and the community. Yeah, you know, you really get a sense of a father's grief when you're talking with John Faircloth, but you also hear relief in his voice and the pride he's gotten from this community, which has stood behind him, his family, and prayed for his daughter, Jackie. The signs asking for prayers still line Kennedy Boulevard, like permanent fixtures. My family's been uh, very appreciative of the generosity of this community, uh, the prayers, the outpouring of support. It's been somewhat of a life preserver for 19-year-old Jackie Faircloth's family, helping to keep them afloat through countless tough days and nights since November 29th, 2014. I pray every day for a miracle to end this tragedy. And um, me and my wife and my son just continue to work hard with her and hope and pray every day that things get better. The Plant High senior suffered a traumatic brain injury when then 20-year-old Devin Dwyer hit her with his truck in Tallahassee and then took off and hid. Jackie was just walking across the road near FSU to meet her brother when it happened. Her recovery since has been heartbreakingly slow. But it's a, a long, long road ahead and uh, progress has been slow lately. Dwyer was sentenced Monday to two and a half years in prison for the hit and run. He pled no contest and cut a deal with the state attorney's office. Jackie's father fighting back tears in court. She can no longer speak. She can no longer eat. She can no longer walk, yet she continues to work very hard in her therapies and hopes that she can get better. He says he accepts Dwyer's seemingly short sentence, but what he struggles with is the idea of forgiveness. If he'd have stopped, maybe, but he left her in the road. And I can't forget that. And Dwyer will be on probation for at least eight years following his prison term. Kelly, back to you. All right, Josh Cassio, thank you, Josh.